Greetings, hi, hello, welcome. Dag sê, ja, lekker dat jullie hier by my kom keir. Yep, thanks for paying me a visit. What? The fun is endless. So we are right here where the cut, this bit of the cut, the sand cut starts. I, I'm expecting the unexpected, really. This is the before the storm. It's coming from that direction already. It has been spitting. I've got about an hour and a half to go. There's the stairs. Can you see them? There's the little beach. I came around. The tide is on its way out. I've been watching it for the last few days from the stairs where the water has been pushing all the way up here. So you can see how much has been taken away in comparison to the last time I was here. I wanted to come and have a look, quick look, see and see if there was anything been pushed in here. You can see signs of cuts over there too so I want to walk this way uh, I've said it many times before I don't really find much on this beach I've walked up and down these areas these stony pebbly gravelly whatever those areas are called and I don't find much so I found a, a semi half signal over here and uh, it disappeared and I thought okay let me look more and just as well I look more look here I've just taken them out. They were actually lying here. I saw them. They weren't in the hole. That is a 5P, large 5P. You can see the, you can actually see the, the bull there quite well. When I show you the bull, when I don't bull, bull. Okay, there's a large 5P decimal. This one looks older. This one looks definitely like, um, a pre-decimal, but it may be a a uh, 10p, which are usually uh, decimal 10p, which are usually quite large too. So I don't have much time, so I'm not going to spend my time here trying to decipher what we have. Uh, I'll put in a bit of footage for you. So there we go, two coins here. I'll have a look see around. The, this was a funny signal. Uh, iffy, scratchy, irony, whatever. So I'll swing the detector again to see if there's still anything else here. The pinpointer doesn't seem to think so. But uh, let's just swing the detector again. Okay, the, the signals of those two coins were much like this. See there, 58s, 35s. 70s, 58s. Bit of mineralization, 61. Okay, let's plonk it into... Park mode 2. See there. So it's worth a look right there. I'll show you what we get once we've been in there. I'm going to get you in because right there, uh, now 73 is after I've moved stuff around or taken the top layer off. And the pinpointer tells me it's very close. Under that, okay, yes, it would be very close because I'm gonna have fun here today. That is definitely, if it's 73s, there's a pre decimal penny size. That once again, I don't have, yeah, no, no, that's got serious right 10p. Yeah, I see the harp on that side, so it's a 10p. That size, that greenness, okay, so there must be more because 73s. These things don't ring 73s. They're 41s, as I've proved before. Okay, so let's keep on looking. Yeah, there's more, yeah. Can you see where I am? That's why we we're getting jumpy numbers. Because there's another something. Something. Aluminium. Burnt aluminium of sorts or something along those lines because it's setting the pinpoint off. Yep. There we go. We'll throw that in the scat bucket. Yeah, there's more yeah. So it my theory is working and I don't think I've got enough time to be able to get at all of these targets then today. So that means I have to come back another day when after the storms I'll be allowed in again yeah there's a coin there's a coin that's what probably set us off 73s 
Although that also looks like a like a copper nickel or am I wrong? Yeah, no, that is uh, what caused the 73s. That's a 20, 20 pence, Irish 20 pence. I can see the horse. So we're racking them up. Let's see if I just get the spade out of the way. There was a, seemed to have been a signal. Yes, there's a signal. There too. Multiple signals I've got here. As you saw, those numbers jumping around. There could be iron around here somewhere too. But let's take you there because there's a oh, you know me and getting excited about things like this when I haven't been in an area and then the, the sea the waves wave action change changes the the circumstance and then we get great deposit areas Okay, I'm going to get you back in when I've emptied this hole, alright, I won't keep boring you unless you, you enjoy with me finding what could be in here, because, because, is that a big lump of iron or is it something else lying beneath there, can you see where I am, no you can't even see where I am, yeah there's definitely a a strong signal yeah but it could be iron yeah there's rust is that rust I see or is it not rust I see yeah that looks like rust I see okay we need the the bigger spade okay I'll get you in if there's anything else worth showing you can you see it it must be about three foot close to a meter long piece of iron once upon a time uh, round bar so I'm gonna just have a look see around here if there's anything more but that was our iron if the iron signals look at the grayness it's coming looks to me like lots and lots and lots of black sand but there's our next Irish 50p um, so let's have a look see if there's more here I'm getting those were in the 50s, but I'm also getting min uh, mineralization indications, so that's very funny because it's not supposed to do that. Let's see if there's anything else here. Feels like it. So I'll scratch around a bit more with the pinpoint. Ah, oh, there's a strong signal there. There we go. There would be a strong signal. It's another Irish decimal coin. Another 20p. So that's 70p out of this hole so far. And they're all Irish decimal so far. That's ring era coins, people. Not silver era. But if people were holidaying here and throwing their their uh, their coins away, their spending money away, then they must surely have been throwing rings away. Oh no, he has a piece of something else metal, which obviously, teaspoon, here we go, when last have we had a teaspoon? So this is hot area now, really enjoying this because it's, my hunch has really paid off now that there would be either exposed stuff up here or deposited stuff, but this looks like, because it's taken so much away, it's exposed a lot of stuff. It normally is about two foot further down under under sand. Okay, stop waffling and find the good stuff. Now I'll only show you the handfuls when I take As them out. If the wind's getting in your ears, I do apologize. But I want to show you this. I think I've worked out what all the mineralization is. That's the black sand. Definitely, because every single target is laced with mineralization look look at this okay those are metal signals but you see yeah there i'm in park mode one full sensitivity i had to go there to try and see if there was a signal beach mode i'm back in beach mode now full sensitivity you see there and you can see the black sand 
how thick it is. It's not deep down, but I think there's too many conflicting signals here for this little single frequency detector, which is a great, great, great detector. Mark my words. Okay, I'm going to see what's in there, and I'll show you what it is. Can you see it? It looks like another 50p coin. Irish 50p decimal. There we go. Another one. It's below the stony layer below the black sand layer uh, so that's why the detector is sort of battling to pick it up because it's under everything you gotta keep going which is lovely I love it love it love it love it we've got well eight or nine have we got ten coins yet like I said earlier I'm finding the signals in between the black sand look at this this is quite a large Stone, flat stone, lots of flat stones that I'm digging out, but look there, there it lies. This rang 90s. Now why would it ring 90s? It's another 10p. I must this must be about the fifth 10p that I've got. And they're all pretty well in good nick apart from the coloration on them, but they've not bashed around, they've been lying here all the time. There we go. Uh, between two stones. Between two flat, look at them. Can you see the, the flatness on that one? All right, I'll swing the detector again. Uh, it's getting progressively colder and colder, as predicted. This is spring, so we can expect to have a little bit of a winter in spring. All right, enough waffle. Onwards we go. There we go. Move that one, move that one, and below it, was lying a punt and it's in good neck too it'll probably clean up nicely I hope let's see if we can get it focused for you can you see the stag there you can just make out that's antlers there we go that's our first punt for the day a euro coin our first non Irish and then the key the key broke when I pulled it out so it looks like a Yale type key there we go, different finds, but the fun is endless, endless, and it's getting very good. Okay, I'm in park mode two, sensitivity one bar down. See the numbers all over, 60s, 30s, whatever. So let's see, I don't know if you feel like sticking with me. I've actually moved it already, so let's see if we can find it while you're with me. Uh, I presume if it was that shallow and that high up, it was most likely uh, Canslaw. But most likely. Right there. Not can slaw a two euro coin now, <laughs> and it's a German. Not can slaw, lovely. Look, and it hasn't been in long because it hasn't denatured totally. There we go. I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna call this expect the unexpected. I'm still out here, and uh, look what I've just found. Look at that, can we get some focus on that? That's a San Remo 1 euro coin. Look at that. I've never found one of these. So for your addendum, we're going to include this. And I'll also include the, the Euro Countries coin map hunt, the latest update map. I've lost track of the, all the Euro coins found because we haven't been on, the, on that one for ages. But we can update the map, that's for sure. And now I'd better get home. Look at that. I better get home because I've got to get over or around there without getting drenched. And the rain's on its way. So that's it. I'll say bye, 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 bye.